ultrasonic meter. A more recent development consists of using ultrasonic pulses to measure liquid levels. Measurements are made by sending sound pulses from a sensor to the surface of the liquid, and timing the echo return. The speed at which sound propagates in a fluid is dependent on the fluid's density. If the density is constant, however, one can use the time of ultrasonic passage, or reflection, to determine the velocity of a flowing fluid. Linearizing circuitry converts the height of the liquid into flow rate. A strip chart recorder logs the flow rate, and a digital totalizer registers the total gallons. A keypad with an interactive liquid crystal display simplifies programming, control, and calibration tasks. Ultrasonic flow meters can be divided into Doppler meters and time of travel, or transit, meters. Doppler meters measure the frequency shifts caused by liquid flow. Two transducers are mounted in a case attached to one side of the pipe. A signal of known frequency is sent into the liquid to be measured. Solids, bubbles, or any discontinuity in the liquid, cause the poles to be reflected to the receiver element, because the liquid causing the reflection is moving, the frequency of the returned pulse is shifted. The frequency shift is proportional to the liquid's velocity. Time of travel meters have transducers mounted on each side of the pipe. The configuration is such that the sound waves traveling between the devices are at a 45 degree angle to the direction of liquid flow. The speed of the signal traveling between the transducers increases or decreases with the direction of transmission and the velocity of the liquid being measured. A time differential relationship proportional to the flow can be obtained by transmitting the signal alternately in both directions. A limitation of time of travel meters is that the liquids being measured must be relatively free of entrained gas or solids to minimize signal scattering and absorption. Advantages High accuracy high sensitivity, high stability Wide flow range, i.e. high turn-down ratio. Low pressure drop, head loss. Temperature independence. No installation dependent performance. Disadvantages. Liquids being measured must be relatively free of entrained gas or solids to minimize signal scattering and absorption.